Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to yet another web scraping tutorial on demand. And uh, recently, I got uh, an email uh, entitled "Need Help," and it's ours uh, being really good tradition to <laughs> actually getting this, uh, receiving these emails uh, entitled "Like Need Help." And uh, Calvin Dussery, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, asks me to help uh, to. Uh, extract data from propertyfinder.beach which is uh i'm not sure what country okay ba bahrain i'm not sure if this is a country or or a city uh, i'm really sorry guys for uh i have no idea where is what is this actually but from the web scraping perspective this doesn't really mean that much so uh our goal is actually to uh just kind of as usual uh, extract all the sensitive uh, data from here like price title address and well, I, I can't see any description here but okay so probably this cards okay so th those above were kind of uh, I guess they were uh, just featured featured properties I guess so mm, these are the cards basically so you're just trying to have a look uh, at the elements here well, I guess, uh, yeah, so these cards and so on. I'm really sorry for the environmental sounds. Uh, I'm just outside at the moment and my wife is cooking uh, inside the house. So here is kind of lots of neighbors going back and forth around over the head from here and just shouting and things like that. So it's not the best ever atmosphere for creating web scraping tutorials, but still, I think it's kind of better than not doing it at all. So if you're interested, well, let's actually start writing some code. So here I've created the file called propertyfinder.py and first we need to import some packages. So I say import scrapey and from scrapey.crawler import... Uh, oh my god, so uh, it seems like it's shaking my table is not that stable it's shaking as far as I'm typing right well still it's just only about the camera so I hope yeah the desktop recording shouldn't be that bad okay so we need to import the crawler process and oh my god this is so weird okay I'll try to type softer <laughs> and from scrapey dot selector we need to import selector to be able to actually uh, extract data from the local copy of the HTML response. Uh, I don't know if we'll need, yeah, we need the URL because we have some string query parameters. So I say import the URL lib. And also, I want to import JSON module to pretty print the data uh, we've scraped. And now let's define the property finder. Uh, scraper cla class scraper class and I just say class uh, property finder okay it's gonna be rain soon I guess and it would inherit from the scrape it dot spider class and first we need to provide the name for this uh, scraper so uh, scraper name and here I can simply say like uh, name equals and so we just try to fix the table to avoid uh, it be it shaking. Okay, so name equals let's call this property finder and also let's specify the base URL we're supposed to be crawling data from. So I can simply say like base URL equals and now we need to grab the one from the browser. So I just copy this stuff okay the rain has just started I'm not sure if you can still hear what am I talking here so okay I'm just trying to get slightly bit closer to the mic okay uh, so I try to exclude this Bring query parameters out from here and 
trying to find that over here. So string query. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> this is the guy I, I, I'm a big fan of. Blue Fever Software. If you're watching this video, well, man, I appreciate this comment so so nice. Well, this is this is so pleasant to to get the commentary from from guy of his caliber. He, he he's the author of a chess engine in C series, which has over 80 uh, videos on how to write a chess program in C. A, a guy who helped me to start with programming, basically. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that. Okay, so the string query parameters uh, uh, would be like so I created params variable that would be type of Python dictionary. And here is just trying to take these all the stuff we had uh, as the parameters. So I'm not really sure what exactly this stands for, but that doesn't really matter that much. I guess the only thing we would be really interested in is this pagination, right? Because so we're just gonna be we're just we're supposed to be uh, changing this value respectively. Okay, and before we uh, before we continue, let me just quickly provide the name driver here, so I can simply say if name equals to main. Well, in this case, we would like to run our scraper, and I just create the process variable that would be equal to roller. Our process and same just like process of crawl. I'm really wondering if my sound is ever heard. <laughs> this is a very unique video, like web scraping tutorial under the rain. It's very romantic, I guess. Okay, so we, we need to crawl our property finder. Okay, and finally, same process dot start in order to actually invoke our. Our uh, spider, uh, our crawler. So now I can just try to open the terminal in the current working directory. Oh my god, I have no idea if you can hear me, guys. Okay, and by typing Python 3 and uh, property finder, property finder dot pi, I hope to invoke. Okay, so selector. Yeah, obviously we need to say import here. Okay. Okay, so it seems to be working. Uh, no, okay, another typo here. Start. Uh, start like this. Uh, okay, now it seems to be just pretty fine. Okay. I hope my computer is not gonna gonna get wet because the table actually does start getting wet so okay guys so just try to try to sit in a slightly different place from now on okay okay now the brightness of the screen is not that perfect so let me just try to adjust that as well oh it's not this so uh, just make it slightly brighter so I so eventually I can see something on the screen. Okay, so um, it's highly uncomfortable sitting and working here. Oh my god. But maybe this rain stops one day. Okay, so uh, now I guess it's time to provide the flowers. Oh my god, the rain is going really crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna drown here. I can't even get to the house at the moment because uh, it's totally wet. Of course. Okay, just hold on a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. So uh, I needed to get into the house eventually, and my wife is still cooking out there or basil or I don't know so I can't really uh, do do this in in the room on the left of me of me or, uh, uh, on the right on the left from me yeah 
and well doesn't matter so let's keep going with our tutorial actually so okay let me just have a look so we just did invoke the scraper okay so now it's time to provide i'm sorry i'm really sorry for for this shaking uh, uh camera uh, i can't do really much with this I just won't have another time uh, to do this later on because I'm really busy at the moment so uh, let's actually try to provide the crawlers entry point and there is the standard method called uh, start requests uh, which serves as the crawlers entry point so this method is uh, is the basic for the scrape the dot spider which is the general purpose crawler and it would oh, it would only take the self instance and this is kind of it so here actually uh what we, what we uh, would need to do is uh we will need just to crawl the all the pages available uh so just provide some pagination crawling so let me just try to have a look if the number of all the pages is being defined here so let me just try to open this one in the new tab just to make sure if uh, the tenth page is really the okay, it's not the last. So, well, uh, I guess okay, just probably did go to the list and eventually. So uh, I guess like uh, you would be able just to provide the pagination yourselves because it's it's not really that difficult for now. Uh, okay, so this parameter is all the time are the same so only the page is probably being changed here so uh, at the moment uh, uh, I would like to say like crawl pages and we simply say for page in range from 0 to and uh, well, let's say 10 uh, so we'll crawl 10 pages eventually and here I can simply say uh, Crawl 10 pages, change 10 to whatever page number to crawl. Okay, so and so now let's create the next page URL that would be equal actually. Okay, I'm just wondering, did the rain stop? Not sure, but okay. So it's far more conveni convenient doing this outside, basically, rather than sitting here in the corridor, but still. Okay, so the next page URL would be equal to self.base URL plus, and now we need to make use of URL lib.parse.parse on that. Parse dot url encode method and use our self dot params as the argument but before that uh, what we actually need to do is uh, increment increment current page and current page to crawl uh, and so here we will basically start from one and this one might be actually empty even and here we will say like self dot ramps and the page is it the page yeah and page and this would be equal to we I would probably like to stringify I could have not probably doing that but just let's leave it so stringify our page and here we need to say generate next page next page URL okay next page would be equal to this one in particular and eventually so uh, I just want to print the next page before we start crawling those pages so just to make sure everything works okay uh, this error is just because we don't crawl yet anything and here here are our pages so it seems like uh, they are being generated correctly okay guys good news uh, actually the rain has 
has been just stopped so I can finally go outside and avoid torturing my wife with my English speaking voice okay thank god the rain has happened uh, has stopped basically okay so yeah just let me adjust the brightness uh, one more time here okay now this is better okay so uh, okay probably slightly more still can't see much okay so um, at the moment uh, what we can actually do uh, I'm not sure if I should actually uh, provide the user agent here equal to my browser well probably I could have done that so let's just try to grab one from whatever request so just need the user agent okay here it is copy and uh, here I provide the custom headers uh, variable and headers would be equal to my browser user agent that's literally enough in this particular case at least so finally uh, here uh, we would like to um, crawl the next page so here I say uh, yield scrapey dot spider and URL would be equal to the next page. Okay, and haters would be equal to self dot haters and also we need to provide the callback function because Scrapey is uh, based on asynchronous twisted internet library to make an unblocking HTTP request so self.parse would be the callback function here okay oh my god the sun is getting really bright so I probably need to change my location again otherwise I can't see a single letter in uh, a single letter on the screen because it's still bright outside okay guys I'm sorry yeah this is the most romantic web scraping tutorial in the, on the YouTube I believe okay it's not really much better but where is the Sun I'm, I'm just wondering well seems still much better at the moment and before we actually go there so I just don't, I just want to break after making after crawling the very first uh, page just in order to save the response as the local HTML file so uh, in any case we need to parse our response and provide the uh, dev parse callback function that would take two arguments the self instance followed by the response object and so first uh, we actually need to store uh, HTML uh, uh, response locally or to the local file like this okay and I simply say with open and res.html and we want to write the file stream as file and we can simply say uh, app.write text like this so if I just run this one more time I hope you see response.html file being, being over here okay what's spider must have a name this is very strange didn't I provide the name for the spider I did here it is so what's gonna run here start requests hitters self hitters uh, 
Okay, let me just figure out what's wrong here. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> Not yell scrape is quieter, I'm sorry guys. Yell scrape request. I'm really sorry for this inconvenience. So, now we should have obtained a copy of the response. So I really hope to get this rest of HTML file here being stored. Okay, so here we got our response. Perfect. So from now on we can actually command this code out and if this was a production version I would obviously just remove this and that's it. But as far as this is a tutorial I would leave this just for the clarity and uh, education purposes. So now we need to uh, load local HTML response uh, to parse it. To parse it. Uh, okay, just better, better, better to say like uh, local HTML content and content would be equal to empty string at the moment and also uh, what now we need uh, load local HTML file and we say with open and res.html and we want to uh, no, we want to read the file stream as file and for line in f.read we actually need uh, to populate our content plus equals by line and uh, eventually we need to initialize the scrapey selector you know to be able to uh, actually extract some data. So I create the res variable which uh, would actually fake this one. So uh, when we have the response object we say we can say like res.css or res.xpath and try to extract some data. But in this case we won't be uh, doing this in the context of the response object because we'll be uh, running this parse method directly. So uh, here is the need to fake this kind of response object. So I can simply say selector and text equals to the content like this and let's also try and print our response also I need to command this uh, crawling logic uh, until we are done with extra with data extraction logic so here uh, we need to fake, uh, fake HTTP response and we simply say like property finder uh, dot parse and pass in the property finder instance along with uh, just an empty string which would be the fake of this response object so we don't use this one but we use this one instead so if I run this again this growler won't be invoked but uh, we just did run only uh, only this parse method from from within the from within the entire property finder class. So eventually uh, we initialize the variable that can be used exactly the same way uh, as, if, as if it was a response object. So now uh, using this response we can actually start extracting our data. So um, uh, the next thing to consider is actually we need to look over property cards uh, just in order to uh, being able to uh, scrape the information from each uh, card uh, uh, accordingly. So we can say for card in res.css and now we need to find the decent selector for the card. So if we're just trying to inspect the elements, so let's try uh, to start with the first card here with this one say. So if I just inspect this and okay so it gives me the elements Okay, so div card list item. Okay, card list, card list item. So, well, I guess this selector should be just fine. Let me just quickly check that out. So, if I say div and the class would be equal to this one, and in this case, let's try to print uh, actually card.get to see what kind of HTML we will, we will get in return and also let's let's print a couple of oh my god 
let's try to print a couple of new lines to, s to distinguish between every card HTML code. So, yeah, it seems like to be exactly what we need. Okay, and I really hope that now we can actually start extracting our data. So, uh, here we say extract features and features would be equal to uh, would it be the data type of Python dictionary and here we start defining our logic and eventually we want to print uh, I say JSON dumps to pretty print the features uh, dictionary so the features is the first argument and indentation equals to two spaces just to pretty print this kind of dictionary so at the moment we will get nothing in return okay and uh, just yeah just the number of cards here so let's actually go for our data extraction logic which was the exact request from calf and the Siri. okay so um, let's kind of start so here well uh first we have uh a list in url well i i guess we could have we could have tried to extract this so card clickable let's try to extract this one uh, this is a bit strange why is this so so weird class here so let me just try to uh, open to view the page source don't need this anymore I guess okay and okay card clickable so okay and so we need just the, the copy and so let's start with the list in URL and here we'll say like res.css we're looking for the a tag and class equals to this stuff and we also need to extract uh, attribute of h reference save and let's have a look at the links it's not JSON serializable. Yeah, it's not because we need to get the item. Okay, so now we have our listings, and yeah, mm, just to uh, so I will probably, as far as we're not crawling through these guys, we'll probably need to append a base URL uh, in order to uh, open a new tab, just in order to make the links look uh, reasonable so copy and here I can simply say like okay and yeah this is it so but only this this slash I guess so let's try again okay now it seems like the valid links but obviously let me just try to check that out so just copy and uh, paste and try to navigate so if I can see any listing information here okay seems like everything works so as far as uh, there were there was no request to scrape data recursively from the list in itself and I, and also just just bear in mind that I have really numerous numerous tutorials on that topic well this link is loading too long for some reason but it works so no, it doesn't matter that much so yeah but so here we'll be extracting data just from just from this cards and that's kind of it so uh, now let's I'm just uh, I'm just also wondering uh, so this link uh, is not the same or so I, ju I just want to have a look uh, at the title so where is the title so h2 okay I guess this selector should be just fine and let's try to see and here I say like title and res.css we're looking for h2 tag h2 and class equals to this and we want to extract the text 
and you want to get the only element there. Don't forget to put the comma with the right syntax. And let's run this again. Okay. Uh, but why this title is being the same all along the way? Uh, because not the response, but the part instead. And I guess also, yeah, uh, the same over here because, yeah, sorry. Of course, we're looking recursively uh, for the data within each card in particular because, yeah, because uh, that's the reason why we did actually look for the property cards. So, we're, oh, obviously, yeah, card.get, like not the response.get, but card.get. Okay, so now let's move on and. The next selector to consider would it be, let's have a look, I guess the address, so let's try and inspect this element as well, uh, P card location, well, I hope this selector works as well, so I say address here would be equal to card.css, we're looking for the P tag and the class equals to card location and we want to extract the text and also to get the only element. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so it seems like we did extract our address as well, so let's move on. The next thing to consider would be the price, so let's inspect this as well. So it seems like, yes, yeah, span card to price value, so I copy this one and now I say Price and card.css. You know, this site has a really nice selector, so I, I, I love things like this. So, okay, it was span and class equals to this one text get. And let's check this as well. Okay, so here are our prices, but we also need to probably, okay. For some reason we didn't extract the current currency, but as far as the currency is all is being all 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 the same, I guess. So we can simply say like so first let's actually replace uh, the new lines with nothing and also strip our data and finally we can add this currency BHD, BHD, like this. Well, uh, if the currency is not uh, the same all along the way, this wouldn't be really that nice, but still, I guess this should be just enough, at least for the tutorial purposes. So here we got our price and some, some water on the screen. Okay, so it's because of the rain, I guess. Okay, yeah, the most romantic web scraping tutorial ever. Okay, so um, uh, what else? What else we have here? So yeah, this like uh, agent. Well, but before that, so uh, let's have a look at the type. So property type, this one. And if I just inspect this element, uh, property. Okay, uh, bedrooms, bathrooms, perfect. Okay, so let's have this guy copy. So, property type, well, maybe just type would be literally enough. So, type I say card.css uh, paragraph with the class equals to this one and text. You see guys, it's all the same basically, so web scraping is all the same every time. That's just a matter of slightly different crawling logic, okay, apartment, villa, apartment, perfect. Just slightly different crawling logic and also uh, slightly different selectors, but it's literally all the same. So now let's uh, copy the bathroom selector. So. Here I can simply say 
Okay, so bedrooms, and this would be equal to part dot CSS paragraph and class equals to this one. Okay, and literally the same extract extract the text and get the element like this. See, so um, let's have a look bedrooms number of bedrooms okay so we have this uh, nasty uh, empty spaces so let's also strip uh, every element to get rid of those okay and the next thing to consider here would be to extract the bathrooms so I say bathrooms and card.css b and class equals to so also text also I guess get one and now let me just grab the class for the bathrooms so this one copy and paste and let's have a look what we got here yeah also strip exactly the same like we did with the bathrooms so okay now the bathrooms has been okay why the number of bathrooms is uh, the same with uh, with the bedrooms is this all along the all, all way along the same no or this is a bit strange okay probably okay so probably uh, I did something wrong here so let's have a look it's actually four bedrooms and five bathrooms so inspect the elements uh, bedrooms bathrooms did I pick the selector correctly I'm just wondering oh that's uh, because uh, bathrooms here so I need to change this to bedrooms okay now this should work Okay, so now the bedrooms and bathrooms uh, count is different, which is nice. So let's check the first one to make sure that we did pick up the right selectors. So four bedrooms and five bathrooms. Yeah, exactly the same what we got here. And also we need to make use of the floor area. Uh, okay, so I just copy this one and uh, provide the next selector so here I can say oh it's, it's getting really really hot outside the sun has come and it's really hot here it's getting hard hot and let's provide the floor area that would be equal to card.css oh my god no cap caps lock please card.css and b paragraph class equals to extract the text so the class equals to this and dot get okay okay perfect so now we got our uh, floor area as well so well I'm not sure if this email or uh, phone number would be actually available so let me just try to check these guys out so suspect one of them uh, span SVG so any any valuable information there so uh, so what what kind of ring here oh so this would just redirect to the property listing which is not good okay probably same with the email okay if I just click it what happens oh mm. so is this phone actually being available there so plus 97 let, let me have a look plus 97 okay so it seems like we have the telephone oh by the way we also seem to have like the coordinates here I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be extracting these guys in this tutorial. Well, but this might be this might be interesting actually 
to consider mm, LD plus JSON type. Well, uh, okay, so let's leave this for just for a moment to see if uh, probably, probably I will, probably not, not sure at the moment. So I just want to see if the this uh, agency information is available. So it seems like uh, only the icon here. So is there agency link? Okay, there is an agency link, I guess, but uh, okay. Picture source source set. So okay, so all these guys are the pictures. Yeah. So no particular textual data. Okay, so the very last kind of little little challenge here is just trying to extract the phone number and the email that are being stored uh, within uh, this script. So uh, I just want to make sure. So how many application JSON scripts here? So it's the only one. Uh, okay, so what we can do actually here? Uh, try to extract additional data. Well, let's first let's try to extract phone number. Okay, and before that, uh, extract additional data script. So script would be equal res.css and we're looking for the script tag with I guess it's type right where the type equals to application JSON we want to extract all the text out of there and get one so let's try to print our script and hope that this would be Forcible, uh, uh, serializable, JSON serializable. So let me see. Mm, okay. Don't print uh, the list and info for a while, please. So, uh, still something wrong. Come on. Oh. Too many double quotes. Okay, so here is our script. And I just. Uh, hold my breath and try to parse it. So I say JSON loads and the script. I really hope to see this kind of script uh, parsed. And it is parsed. My god, this is so nice. So uh, we can say like JSON loads over here. Uh, well, if, if this won't be available in some pages, well, probably would need to try accept this stuff as well. Uh, well, maybe let's try and make this advert, do this uh, already now. So, script and accept exception as e print e. I'm not just simply passing here because I just want to see if uh, some typos within this uh, try statement or something. So, um, now we can really print this instead of JSON loads. We need just to say JSON dumps, and let's try to see what we got here. My God, really lots of information. But okay, so as I usually do in this sort of cases, so first uh, I would like to print all the available uh, keys. So I say script dot keys just to see maybe something will help us to figure it out uh, script keys list object is no key so okay this is the list okay as far as this is the list let's try to print the length of this list uh, script okay 27 seems like the number of cards so well in this case uh, we can actually try to print the very first element save to see what we got there 
Okay, so it seems like everything. Well, maybe not really everything. Well, if this is if this all just the first one, then position forty. Okay, let's try to get the keys from here. Context type number of items. Item list element. Okay, but it's kind of again like this is the list again. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, so let's try item list element basically. So if I just try like item list element okay and see what we got there mm. okay any keys in here or maybe it's a list okay so let's try to see the first element and the keys main entity URL position so I guess main entity is what we need it's just an assumption obviously mm. and I guess this is the list again right mm, this is strange Oh my god. So can we get the list of keys here? Okay. Geo. Okay, 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 okay. So type name, description, floor size. So telephone. We don't have an email here for some reason, but okay, let's try. Is URL available here? So let's try to have a look at the URL. So just to distinguish these guys by the URL, but so to match the URL. Kinda. Okay, it seems like. But hold on a sec. Why all of these guys have exactly the same URL? Something wrong. So, okay, keys again. <laughs> Telephone. Okay. And this telephone copy, I guess this is the very first telephone, right? So, no, not here. I don't know. I have no idea why this is as slow as hell, to be honest. Well, in any case, this seems to be the very first telephone. And, well, as far as when... Okay, so... Uh, we, we have kind of two lists here. So, uh, if we just have a look... Okay, let me see the URL again. And... I just want to print and if we just try to change this guy I hope the URL would have been different oh this is not good mm. so 
what is there in the print script at the index of one and keys is it the same? Okay, it seems like. Okay, hold on. If I just have a look at the URL over here. And is this already again the same URL? Hold on, guys. I'm just really wondering, like. really strange so uh, I just want to try to visually see how many phone numbers is uh, av available there so it's like plus uh, so this guy starts with uh, I forgot what they start with uh, Okay, so this is the link, right? And this is a different one already. <laughs> okay. This is strange, but you know. Sorry guys, just been distracted for dinner. So, you know, like, after eating some potatoes, uh, I just realized that probably the better way, instead of uh, trying to print the entire uh, script uh, JSON data uh, to the console, it would probably be uh, more, uh, my much better way to actually try to write this to the file and see it with within the text editor editor so uh, I can simply say like with open and uh, let's call this script only oh, just data data.json and we want to write the file stream as file and simply same f that write and script and that's it so no not the script sorry but instead json dumps the pre-printed right script and <coughs> indentation equals to two spaces so now i hope to see a new file rising here data.json perfect so at the moment we don't really need these lines anymore so i can simply get rid of them and now we can have a look at this uh, data.json, so exactly the same script we need. Okay, and well actually, so this is the initial list, okay, and item elements, brand new villa with a comfortable wisdom is that program, what is that? Okay, so I just wondering regarding the URLs, so uh three one one two oh six okay and okay okay this one is already different right so rented to navy luxury two bedroom furnished okay so this one is already different i guess right the the, the, the other element and we have a, a telephone here as well so we need to uh, go for the very first element of okay so it seems like okay I, I almost got it basically so if you just try to so print this name into the url save and print okay but if we just try to change the index over in here within an item within the item element list, we'll probably get yeah exactly another URL, which means that uh, we can use uh, so yeah we can loop over 
So there's item elements and we can try to match our response URL with uh, so <laughs> we can't use the response URL because we're out outside of uh, of the context basically but okay but if we just uh, if we just try to use uh, the first element just trying to match the URL so So this would be the, exactly the same content that the uh, response that URL would have when this when the scraper would run for real. So mm, okay, now let's try to loop over uh, JSON data, JSON over cards, JSON data, and we say simply for card in, and now we need this this stuff. So, okay, but probably, probably this is about to be done, main entity, so hold on a sec, what, where does that main entity comes from? Ah, but, but here is another URL, okay, so then we'll use for main entity and coordinates, okay, perfect. So, uh... Uh, let's just so it's not that this doesn't regard script anymore I guess so we just can get rid of this stuff and again like try accept yeah I guess now this would work just perfectly well like a charm charm okay so mm, based uh, script copy paste and here we can say if uh, well we we will we need to use this like response URL because um, okay so uh, just for the debugging purposes uh, I'll use the URL variable that would be equal to to this one copy paste main entity okay mm. so if URL mm, equals card uh, card URL, right? Uh, let's just try. Oops. Print. I just print that we found something there, just to make sure that we hit the condition. Okay. So in this case, uh, we can say uh, features telephone. So, um, so yeah, here. We'll provide telephone, telephone, and nothing for now. And also, well, I'm not sure regarding the email because we don't don't seem doesn't seem to have any kind of email over here, right? So all the ad symbols <coughs> regards the type basically. So I can't see any emails. Well, so we won't be able to extract the email, but the phone uh, along with the geo coordinates. So coordinates as well. And here uh, I just want to provide latitude and longitude. And uh, usually clients really love when the coordinates are available, especially when. Uh, it's all about the real estate properties data sets latitude longitude okay so here so if URL matches uh, in this case we want to say that features uh, with the key of telephone would it be equal 
card and what was that main items or main entity okay so card main entity and uh, this telephone right so I just want to have a look at the entire data set now so let's see what we got there okay so we did extract the telephone but uh, yeah for some reason uh, we did we do we have the same telephone all along the way I'm not sure why this happens mm. oh that's because the URL is always the same yeah okay so as far as we will be uh, dealing with the real request th this won't this won't happen uh, I hope at least and so uh, uh, okay these lines are self-explanatory so we hit the URL uh, okay then we then we're done basically so try to extract the phone number and also I would like Try to extract geo coordinates. Okay, and it's almost like the same here, but just instead of telephone, uh, we'll say like features coordinates and latitude would it be equal to telephone geo and let it get here I guess let me just quickly check that as well so geo uh, let it get right yeah exactly so geo let it get and And the same, exactly the same for longitude. Okay. So exactly the same for the longitude. So it would be all the same data every time at the moment, but still we did extract the coordinates. And now it's actually time to get rid of this uh, local selectors. So we don't need these guys anymore. Uh, in production code, I would delete this, but I'll leave this just for clarity and education purposes, educational purposes. So now we need to uncommand our crawling logic here and command this stuff out away. And also, I just wanna uh, break after. Or no, I don't want to break here, right? Nope. So yeah, we, uh, we'll just break after the very first page, and that's kind of it. Okay, so uh, let's try to have a look what we'll ha what we'll, we'll, what we're supposed to have here after real scraping. So I really hope this is a different data. Okay. Okay, that's because I didn't change. Uh, the main part of the code so obviously we're not about this URL but we are about response.url okay so try to match every URL URL each time we look for a different card and compare uh, compare them with the URL from the list oh my god don't tell me this doesn't work come on telephone is not available but why are the coordinates same all of the time okay just need to figure this out as well okay so let's try to check uh, the URL comparing logic here so telephone it would it, it, it may be accepted at some point uh, so I just want to print and card main entity 
telephone paste and don't print the, all the data extracted for a while please okay so it's nothing here so probably it might be that it's going to throw in the, an exception so let's check that out as well except exception as e and trying to print the exception now it, it seems like it's raining again and uh, i need to dislocate slightly a bit one more time during this video i guess mm. yeah oh the most mobile web scraping tutorial ever i guess okay guys just hold on okay so let's have a look if we actually have some exceptions over here well this is a bit strange why we don't have mm. Mm. okay let's print uh, card URL I mean like script zero copy paste uh, nope not not in here sorry here we're we're looping over the cards let's print card URL and also I want to print response.url so just to try to compare them manually okay so well mm, so here here we'll say like uh, okay probably let's use some string formatting here and uh, like this so card URL and then I want to have a new line and response URL and another string element okay let's have a look so um, response URL oh it's not that it's not that at all so not the response URL but uh, actually nope features uh, features list in URL instead but not the features list in URL even but only this or hold on a sec uh, if I just uh, have nope yeah this is right so this features list in URL yeah I guess now this should work so okay response URL equals to uh, feature list in URL like this okay and now let's try to print all the data so the, the phone should be extracted now phone nope not extracted yet as well okay so uh, probably just the formatting is slightly not that great okay well definitely well, hope it's not not gonna be that awful rain as it was already okay the cloud is not that big as it was oh my god okay mm. so I just really want to try to end this challenging part okay so let's try it kind of again print like okay mm. save and actually try to print this one 
copy and paste this one and I want to have a couple of new lines after so okay feature is not defined yeah that's because that's why it didn't work so features instead and yeah now this should work so just 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 an exception there okay so maybe it works now hope so hmm still no phone okay so I just want to check if the phone so if, if we actually if we actually hit this condition so let's try to check that out as well mm. this is really strange to be honest absolutely so probably the URLs are not being the same oh my god what have I done if features URL is actually equal to card card URL. Okay, now we get finally got different phones. Thank God. Okay, so I will now reuse this kind of condition all along the way here. So eventually we'll have them same for coordinates as well so paste save and hopefully to see uh, the different coordinates and phones there mm. <laughs> still not in that you're really kidding me come on okay <laughs> okay so mm. <laughs> yeah, this is really interesting, so... Card... Okay, print... Phone, again, so just to make sure which line gives an error, I guess. So, card... Telephone, copy... Okay, so the phones are extracted for uh, each time, so we do hit this, right? But why on earth we don't see this kind of like here? So features telephone equals card. This is really strange. We should have give the telephones maybe not all the listings oh okay so just not all the listings have them so yeah here the telephones are available telephone coordinate coordinates telephone coordinates are different yeah coordinates are different okay perfect so no no they they are not always available so in this case we can simply say like so if uh, the URL matches so this this would be like and here if uh, future or, or maybe just um, let me try to say like copy and base is not equal to nothing else feature is telephone would be equal to not available
Okay, not available, not available, not available. Is it available somewhere? Yeah, it's not available anywhere, so let's try to... Use some parentheses here. Save. It's kind of bad condition for some reason. Well, okay, just uh, I don't want this complications, so let's just simply say, like, if features telephone equals to nothing, then features telephone to not available like this hmm this is strange hmm. maybe like this. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay. Okay, now it's perfect. So, the telephone if the telephone is available and it's it's printed, if it's not available, it's just printed like not available. And so here we can say fix uh, not available values for phones. specifying the each, each one in particular so Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Well, you know, like, uh, I guess it can be that on the latitude there are only longitude is available, so let's check this slightly easier way, right? Coordinates. Oh my god, I don't need this great to show. Okay. Coordinates, latitude. Oh. Hmm. 
my god, this is so strange. So did it phone still working? Guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're not comparing, but we're assigning the values. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, ladies you don't want you are not available if they are not, and if they are, we have the corresponding coordinates as well. And, well, in this case, you know, like, uh, probably, you know, I, I, I would like to sort this to CSV, so let's probably change, so I don't want to use this coordinates, uh, let's just... Uh, make it like this. So, same here, like, okay, and just trying to have these guys so it would be better in the CSV format to present the data this like way. So, okay, latitude, longitude, not available, okay, telephone, and here, here they are available. Okay, so uh, the very last thing left here in this tutorial is actually to store the output uh, to CSV files. So, uh, now let's provide some custom settings to our to our scraper so I say custom settings equals to and here is the Python dictionary so I need to specify the feed format it would be equal to CSV and also the feed URI would be equal to um, Property finder dot csv. Okay, and the very last thing to consider is we need to yield the item in order to actually uh, store it. So here I say like store output to csv, and I can simply say yield features. And I hope this is fairly enough to actually get our response. So now we will try this for the only page and here is our property finder.csv. Okay, now I just want to have a look at this in the LibreOffice to visualize the table to make sure the columns are just fine there. So view folder. And if it is, I will just uncommand the break state statement. Uh, preventing us from crawling the pagination and then we're done with the range of pages so eventually you can change you will be able to change the page range to whatever you like and have all the data uh, from the property finder site okay so title oh my god this title is not in English but I don't know pro probably this still works so list and URL address great. What else we got here? Okay, type bedrooms, bathrooms, floor area, telephone if available, latitude and longitude if available. So we have up to 27, I guess, elements, right? Yeah, 26 elements. Well, this is it. This is nice. So mm, I like how this data set looks like. So let's just try to get rid of this because uh, we don't want to uh, scrape it just appends the data by better fault but instead we want to just scrape all the data so uh, we don't need this data that JSON as well. So now we can simply like uh, uncommand this break uh, uh, no not uncommand but just command this break out I mean just can get rid of this completely and try to run this scraper to uh, okay so it, okay so it can parse bedrooms for some reason in, in some cases 
Okay, let's have a look how many data we got now. Well, it's still kind of pretty, not not that much basically. Okay, so uh, by the way, one more thing I wanted I wanted to have a look at is actually the robots.txt file to see if there are any limitations regarding the crawling delay. So robots.txt, okay. sitemap diesel low nothing regarding crawling delay so yeah we'll leave it just as is okay but uh, before actually finish this tutorial I need to mm, switch, uh, to deal with this error so card CSS so bedrooms are not always extracted right and what else so we'll just bring them outside the context. So bedrooms are not always uh, extracted. And again, bedrooms. Okay, so um, if you don't like this, we can say like, so we can just get rid of this, control X. And here we simply say like, try to extract bedrooms. So, and we say try accept and pass and simply saying features bedrooms equals to what we got here and okay this bedrooms equals bedrooms dot get and dot strip so if they are available we just store them so I say like uh, 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 features bedrooms would be equal to bedrooms and otherwise we just set them to not available okay so hope no errors would be at the moment Okay, so this is very, very strange. Line 89 and parse. Oh, <laughs> what have I done? I did this with the bathrooms, not with the bedrooms. So, <laughs> okay, uh, let me try to fix this quickly. So, I don't, I don't need this, so just cut, yeah, just <laughs> slightly wrong place, guys, I'm sorry. So here we need uh, bathrooms instead of bathrooms, save. And here, on the contrary, uh, we need bedrooms. Okay, let's get rid of this output file again. Just trying to run this one more time. Okay, some more errors here. Okay, so same with the bathrooms. Okay, so um, let's actually now try to do literally the same with the bathrooms. So I can simply say like bathrooms
like this, okay. So let's try again. Okay, now it seems to be scraping the data all along the way just pretty nicely. And let's have a look. So now probably we should have more data. Oh, much more data at the moment. So just just perfect. So let's have a look at the data set one last time in the LibreOffice to make sure it looks like correctly. And this is this would have been it actually for this tutorial. Okay. So okay, title, list in URL. Mm, address, price, type, bedrooms, bathrooms, telephone, floor area, latitude, longitude, and all along the way. So I just want to have a look if some not available. Okay, so not available for uh, the phone number, some not available for bathroom and bedrooms. Okay, so this is kind of it, guys. So uh, I consider this data set to be pretty nice and if, if, if at least we didn't want to to crawl through uh, to, to crawl recursively through every uh, list in URL which which I did numerous times before uh, in my YouTube videos so check out my real world projects for that and yeah so this is pretty nice basically so okay guys uh, I hope you've learned something interesting out of this video hope you've enjoyed this as well I'm um, sorry for the rainy weather outside uh, but still <laughs> if, if not that rain this w w won't this wouldn't be the most romantic web scraping tutorial under the rain ever so I hope you like it so until next time and take care cheers <laughs>